Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, I've got something super exciting for you. It's a new inbox vintage kit that came out all the way back on the 9th of December, 1997, making this kit 26 years old. Now, it's something you don't see very often. There's lots of its brothers and sisters from the same chassis group, but this one don't find very many new inbox ones. So I am so excited to be able to get this on the show and build it up for you. And it's this, the Tamiya Blazing Star. So in this episode, the plan is we'll unbox it, take a look at everything you get in the box. And then in a future video, we're gonna build it up, paint it up, and then maybe take it for a little run with the vintage electronics. Also, you're gonna have the chance to win this. Yes, I'm actually raffling this off. Why I don't end up keeping these good ones in my kit, I honestly don't know. So if you're interested in seeing this one, stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Right, so let's take a look at the Blazing Star. Now, this chassis is the DF01 chassis that we've seen. The main one and probably the most famous of these is the Top Force. And then there's the Top Force Evo. They're the top of the line versions of the DF01. But there is a lot more. We had the Manta Ray. Then we have the Terra Conqueror. Then they did the Dirt Thrasher. And then there's a Super Manta Ray, which has a slightly modified DF01 chassis, which is a little bit odd. Then you've got the Hummer, which is another version of the XB Hummer that had this chassis as well. So it's a bit of a parts mashup as the body on this one actually comes from the Terra Conqueror. Wheels and tires are very different and that's kind of what makes it look a little bit more unique as you don't normally see these kind of wheels and tires on a buggy like this. Now the presentation, it's not a full blister pack kind of version of it. It's a quite a basic one or what you're kind of more used to these days. But the artwork is lovely still all the way around. It's really pretty and it does feel very vintage. Now this is kit 58204. This came out on the 9th of December 1997 and it only ran, I can't even get a lid off. It only ran for one year. So quite a rare car. Now there was a a full complete kit that came out and that was on a different number that was five seven zero zero four that is a complete kit which came as far as i know came with a transmitter and all that kind of stuff that came out on the 9th of december 1997 as well but it had never been re-released so <clears throat> 26 years old so getting on but as you can see the actual kind of presentation is very standard to what we see now. Now it has got a few things like the bubble wrap that, that's on here, that's obviously been added. So let's have a look. So let's see. So the tires are probably what make it stand out the most. And these tires, as far as I know, look like they come from the Humvee. So I just checked my Hummer against the tires from the Blazing Star and they're not the same. I thought they might be, but they're actually slightly different. See the middle section is different. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what these are from. I'm sure I've seen these before somewhere. So maybe a, maybe my Land Rover from my, what's it, CC01 chassis, maybe. I've changed the wheels and tyres since then, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these before. So if you know where these are from, comment below, let me know. So very different. Then we've got the actual motor mount, gearbox, and that's at the front or the rear. That's the rear motor mount. So we have that. Then we have the rims, the five spoke white. Then we have, what have we got here? We've got the servo horns and the front gearbox and the front mount for the arms, the upright, the hexes. Then what else have we got? So we've got the top mount plate and the bumper. We've got a rear bumper section, the rear wing mount, battery mount. So it's lovely to see one as a new in box so that I can build it up to a lovely condition. Obviously someone's gonna win this one. So the arms, now the arms for this are, there's two and you screw them together to make the arms, which is a little bit odd, but that's the same on all of them really in the DF01 chassis. Some arms. Then we have, what's this? It's like a card. 
let's have a look. I did see it earlier when I opened it up, but I didn't have a proper look. So let's see what this is all about. Obviously, this is not how it came from Tamiya. Don't know whether it came with this kit or whether someone added this to it. It's just a piece of cardboard, but called the body. We've got the actual gears tucked inside. And what else have we got here? So this is obviously been wrapped up to protect it. It's the chassis. There we go, there's the chassis. There's a few different variants of these. But uh, yeah, it's got a little bit dirty, but so that. Then we have the body itself. Now these are quite rare bodies. There's a few little marks on this one. I'll have to see if I can polish those out from just being in the box. I think there's stickers over there anyway, so it's not so much of a problem. This obviously is quite an old 1997 body, but it's all there. And it's got the pre cut out as well for the. Then we've got the rear wing. Pre cut little bit of hook that needs to be removed. And we've got the stickers. I really like this car. It's not the most famous of them. A lot of, the, you know, like the top forces are well known, but uh, it's definitely one to add to your collection if you collect them, the DFO one chassis. Then we get the original manual. Then we've got the box, let's have a look. And that's pretty much it, a little divide, very kind of what you see today. And then we open this up and what have we got? Drive shafts, oh, they're a bit strange. And then we've got the out drives in metal. Departs trays, just screws. This has oil shocks. Then we have the motor. What else have we got here? There's the C parts tree, which is the springs. And then, oh, that A bag is broken, <laughs> broken out. You've got no bearings in this kit. Uh, bushes, few bushes, more screws. And then we have the oil shocks. One thing I don't, oh, there we go. Then we've got the gears. So it's got metal gears in this. One thing I can't see is where's the mechanical speed controller? Doesn't seem to have it in here. Now I have got some spare ones, so luckily we can fit. Because I want to build this up with a mechanical speed controller in it, as that's what this car had from the beginning, but it's not actually in the kit. Funny enough, the rarest versions of the DF01 chassis family is these three. The Super Manta Ray XB, the Neo Top Force XB, and the rarest of all of them is this one, the Hummer XB. Even though you will see lots of these Hummers about, not this one. And that's because it's a variant of the DF01 chassis. And... These are known to have DF01 chassis, but it's different. So if I put this here, for instance, and then I turn one of these over, which is the easiest one, this one, you can actually see that it's very different. It's flat across the whole bottom and there's nothing in the middle. Whereas when you look at this one, it has a gaping hole where the servo is for some random reason, has this kind of clear part but the rest, all the arms and the actual layout of all the battery and everything is the same. But if you look on Tamiya base, for instance, it all says it's a DF01 chassis. So it's saying that that is exactly the same as this, which is really weird. And that's what makes these three very different as the chassis that I just showed you on here is on all three of these. But none others. So it's a really weird one, uh, especially the Hummer. If you actually look, 
There you go. So that's what you're looking for if you want to buy a very rare Hummer. But it took me years to find this one. And in the last four years, I've only seen this twice. So, uh, yeah, these are way rarer than your Top Force Evos, the very famous ones. But they all are on this family. So there you go. There's a quick look at the Blazing Star from Tamiya. So in an upcoming video, we will start a detailed build on this one. I'm going to paint it up box art as I just love this metallic blue that they do. And it should be really nice to see it with the decals. One thing I was quite surprised about was just how big this rear sticker is. That could be a little bit tricky. So whether we're going to end up doing that using the water technique or crossing my fingers, we'll just have to wait and see. Now in an upcoming video, we will also be moving back onto the Super Dogfighter 870C, as I have a massive bunch of parts to fit onto it with new carbon good stuff. So if you'd like to see that, and you'd like to see the build of the Blazing Star, hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. Otherwise you could miss out on some more cool RC good stuff. Thanks so much, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.